Hey, -o. we're live. Hello. Hello. It's more Mega Man X time. Gross. We should play better games. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. In the year 20XX, it's or actually, in this case, 21XX. A super robot named Mega Man takes down Sigma again, and again, and again. <laughs> and repeat this for like seven times. What? It's only happened like once. Hmm. They they would they wouldn't use Sigma again, would they? Hmm. Well, at the very least, there's other villains in the other games. <laughs> other villains exist. <laughs> Whoa. They do. <laughs> All right. How do I? All right. Start. All right. Um. Wait. How do I reload my save? Oh. Oh. Okay. So before you do, every time you boot up the game, it does reset your control. So you're gonna want to go into option mode and change it back to what you used last time. Dumb. Dumb. Yeah, that's side effect of it being an SNES game, sadly. Side effect of these nuts. Um, All right. I, I, I could but hear yeah, the side. Other than that, just, uh, I'm sorry. What do I select? Password or game start? Oh, uh, password. And then you can reload the password right from there. See? Load. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, thank God. What, okay. the, what the save function does is it essentially just remembers what the password is. Oh, okay, gotcha. Back to Mega Man 10. <laughs> mm. Alright, so... We, we, got, we got Sigma stages now. This is going to take me a while. But I have a cool surprise planned for the end of this, and I think you'll like it, 112. I think so. But I didn't tell you what it is, so... You'll, we'll see. We'll see. I have a feeling I like where this is going. <laughs> I boot up Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> well, to be fair, I, I have been saying recently that I think the game deserves a little more credit, so I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to that. Remember, the uh, Mega Tortoises die in one hit to Storm Tornado. Yeah. I'm trying to save all my stuff for later. Oh my god! There it's it's <laughs> Jelly Jiggler! Get him out of here! <laughs> the Jumingers are back! And they're better than ever. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, there, there's a lot of guys. Get them out of here. There you go. Alright, get out of here, dude. Oh! That, oh, that would have been bad. Oh, that would have been very bad. Alright. So, I will say this straight up. This is what I consider what? to be the hardest I... platforming segment in the game. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. And Jess, I know I said that, but shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one thing I think the, the series has always been pretty good at, is that generally you do get quite a lot of weapon ammo, so you don't have to worry too much about running out unless you're using it, like, every single time, I guess. Okay. I didn't I didn't want that guy pranking me, so. Oh! Come on, what kinda Oh, I was probably supposed to dash jump. My bad. Actually, you probably don't want to do that, because the platforms are very finicky with the dash, because they're very small. Oh, Gritch. Okay. Yeah, the, the Sigma levels are sort of like the ultimate test of using all of the abilities that you've learned up to this point. I, I haven't learned anything. Hmm, we knew how to use Storm Tornado from last time. You told me that, though. Fair enough. 
I I won't touch, and because of that, oh, I, I'm come on try, trying to be a little uh. Lay, lay, lay back a little bit more this time. I will say there is a weapon that trivializes that segment, but if you want to figure it out on your own, I will respect that. Oh. Wait, what? I'm trying to think. I don't... I don't know what one would trivialize it. I'm trying to think. Well, there are only eight options. Well, right, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't know what, what it is. Do you remember what the other weapons do? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, maybe the shield? Try it out. Oh, or the... You said this one makes me invincible. Wait, what happened to my fucking sub-tanks? Oh, so... This is something the series has always had a problem with. They don't... That doesn't save. That's stupid. It is. It, that's not something I'm, I'm a huge fan of. There you go. You are now invincible as long as you as long as you're flashing. As long as I'm falling into pits. There we go. And not dead. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, this this one part's gonna get my fucking goat. And you have to do all three, like, stages in one go, right? Oh, no, absolutely not. You, the, the, so, despite the fact that the game doesn't let you save in between stages, if you get a game over in, like, stage two or three, you restart at the beginning of stage two or three. Oh, that's good, at least. Yeah. No, the, the, and I, I was telling you this before, but the last level is literally just the final boss. So you essentially get infinite tries at the last boss. Yo, sick. All right, I'm cool with that. This fucking menu. Yeah, this uh, is... Dude! <laughs> what? I don't understand that. I was holding right. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, I hope everyone is ready for three hours of this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This this segment is definitely, like I said, it's, I would say this is probably the hardest like platforming section of the game. You can get past this. Nothing ever quite gets to this level again. That's good, at least. Just gonna fucking enable a moon jump code or something. Bruh. Oh! Ooh, ooh. What? What? Well, you almost shortcut it. I I almost did good. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. Try it again. At the very least, you are filling up your sub tanks. I mean, sure. So, to, to be transparent, Chameleon's thing is a perfectly valid way to go about this, but I usually use uh, Rolling Shield because it does contact damage to all the en to the enemies, and the Jamingers do die in one hit to Rolling Shield. Alright, you know what? I didn't die, and... Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck this game. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Tired of this bullshit. I'm a ghost confirmed, I can be transparent. <laughs> I mean, Chameleon's thing lets you do that, so... <laughs> Why isn't it called Spooky Chameleon? Well, to be fair, there's there's other uh, Robot Masters and Mavericks that take on the sort of spooky theme. Like, uh, Shade Man or Skull Man. 
Later in the X series, there's a dude, Dark Necrobat, who's like a Dracula type character. Yeah. That's uh, X5. Like I said, it might be a little bit better to use a uh, rolling shield there, though, because the it does kill the Jaminger enemies in one hit, so that way you can just sort of focus purely on the platform. Because the Chameleon Sting does eventually run out. And yeah, I noticed that. The, I I think I would go with the rolling shield more because it does it hurts the enemies. I don't get damaged, and it lasts like a thousand years. The only, the only thing to keep in mind is that Chameleon Sting is a complete, like, invincibility, whereas Rolling Shield will go away if you touch, like, a really powerful enemy. Like, if you were to touch the Mega Tortoises, then it will go away. Gotcha. See, what am I supposed to do there? Like, it's just out of sync now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, come yeah, on. A game! You you kind of got it. When Usually what I do is I wait until the platforms are, like, going towards each other. Then I just do a single wall kick up to it. All right. It takes a little bit of practice for sure, but it's something that sort of gets easier with, with time. Get out of here! Give me that health! <laughs> Alright. I got this, I got this. Hell yeah. You're, you're, I can see you improving, which is, which is good. Like I said, wait for the platform to, like, move towards you, then make the jump. Yeah, yeah. Alright. If, if this level becomes the fucking 8-3 of Mega Man X, I'm gonna throw a fit. <laughs> um... I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to think of that comparison as apt. I mean... In terms of... In terms of difficulty, I'd say it's really this one or Sigma 3, but Sigma 3 is, is challenging for a very different reason than platforming. Oh! Oh, okay. You, you're getting no one touched me! You have... <laughs> you have woo, woo. There you go. No one okay, fuck with me. <laughs> you come near me, I give you the business. Don't come near me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm waiting fucking 40 years for this thing. For this one, you might just want to like wait until they're both moving left and then you can make this make the wall kick. There you go. One more. Oh! Okay. There oh you go, god. that's the fortress. You got it! Oh my god. No one talk to me. I beat I beat Mega Man X. That's it. That's it. That's the end of the game. <laughs> Credits roll. Uh, you know what? I'm coming Actually, near you and you can't stop me. Not if to, not if a rolling shield has anything to say about it. Actually, hang on. What am I doing? I'm going to use this one. Boomerang. Oh, cutter. it doesn't go through the enemies. Lame. Yeah, Boomerang Cutter isn't, like, a super powerful projectile. It's more for, like, grabbing items. Oh, that's cool. It actually refills your shots if you, uh... If you catch them. Yep. Alright, wait for fucking Strollin' Stew over here. A little too early for uh, Super Mario Sunshine there. I was about to say, I think that's actually a Mario Sunshine thing. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, it's Vile. Oh. I, how, I, how long have you been streaming so far? Uh, 15 minutes. You have discreet 21, 
Uh, oh yeah, 15 minutes. You've disgraced the Mega Man fandom in 15 minutes. That is... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of this is post-game. Well, Sigma's not dead yet, so... I mean... <laughs> I, I killed Sigma right there. Getting into the base, game over for Sigma. True, you did get into his base. Do, do what I tell you or use history. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. What? Bla blast him. Oh, uh, Jess or Cass, you mind taking care of that? <laughs> Yeah, I was, when I said bot, I meant in the chat, not the game. I, I was about to say, I was like, I think everyone here is a bot. Yeah, everyone here is a bot. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna let you know right now, because I don't want you to, like, waste too much ammo. This is another unwinnable fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can you can do whatever you you, you, you want to him, but he again has no health bar. Uh, he'll throw up he'll throw out the electric barrier at uh, two HP. There you go, or four HP. Sorry. Oh, what are you doing there? Yo, he broke free. Yep. Let's go. Oh my God, zero no. It's so upsetting, we're never going to see him again. <laughs> we'll never see him again. Not like he's on the cover of the next game. Nope, never heard of him. A worthless gesture. No! Well, true to his name, he's pretty vile. It's pronounced Valet. No. <laughs> no, what the? Where did that energy come from? I'm a, I'm a robot, dude. I, I just... That's my thing. A <laughs> me costume and smash. Cass. <laughs> no. Stop depressing me. Oh my god, Vile. Oh my god, what? Do you want to know his weakness or do you want to like figure it out? Yeah, if, if you could. Yeah, hook me up. Hook me up. What are the Go strats? Oh, it would be. The one I fucking already used a hit of. Uh, that being said, I would not recommend doing that because, yeah, you're gonna have to get really close to him if you want to try using rolling for him. Almost got him. Got Roasted. Him. Roast it. Get out of here. Proto Man's cooler Proto -Man's anyway. Cooler anyway. Then zero? No way. I don't know. They both have a charm. Oh, well. <laughs> they both have charm, but at least zero, you know, he only has the upper body. Proto Man has legs to go with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Just for, I want everyone to take a note of this, okay? So, <laughs> so how come in Mega Man X6, I hid myself, repair myself, like, but he was in worse condition than he is here. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> the, the sort of, because you're right. That's why that line in X6 is so infamous. Um, no, but the, the, the sort of, like, word of God explanation is that not even Zero knows how he was repaired. That was sort of a lie. Oh, okay. What? Why did he lie about it? I don't know. Watch out, the level's not over, though. Uh, isn't X6 bad? I like X6. I will be the first to admit it is not a very well-designed game at all. Uh, the play here is to like sort of keep dashing forward because you'll just sort of miss everything. Yeah, just keep dashing. I wanted the health. I'm greedy. Fair I don't enough. care. There we go. All right. 
I'm gonna warn you, this segment is pretty tough because you're gonna be climbing a, a huge, like, vertical segment. Chameleon Sting is really, really useful because you can sort of just in turn invincible and dodge all this crap. All right, whatever. Hang on. I, I at least want to kill Sniper Joe here. Hang on. <laughs> whatever. Fuck this game. This game sucks. <laughs> Neither is Sunshine, but I love it. See, but... <sighs> Okay, this 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 is more of a personal thing, but at the very least, Mario Sunshine. I would say you might want to might want to move a little bit quickly because it does wear off. At the very least, Mario Sunshine has some good level design. Like, oh. some of the game is good. Oh, uh, right. So, boss rush. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, hang on. Homing, homing torpedo. Yeah. yeah, charge homing torpedo is pretty busted. It sends out four piranhas, and they make very, very short work of Blue Mikoi. I'll there stop appearing on top of me, you dumb shit. Get out of here. More like sniper ho. Got him. Bruh. I am disappointed. I don't get like recharges or no. Right. Sadly, well, that's what the Metars coming up are for. You you can like sort of grind them for uh, a little bit of health and weapon ammo. Oh, okay. Oh my god! So I will let you know that the end of the level is coming up. There's one more boss. Oh, okay, good. That being said, uh, whew, this boss is a little bit infamous. Not because it's a bad boss, but because it's uh, it's got a tough pattern, I'll put it that way. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I, I Mario Sunshine, any percent is a very cool ride that has a lot of su a super interesting gimmicks and level design quirks. 100% no. 100% is just annoying. Yeah, no shame in uh, working up your sub tank energy a little bit so that way you, uh, you're prepared oh. for the upcoming boss battle. You never 100 percent it personally? Uh... I mean, if you want a challenge, I would say it's not a terrible idea, but if you want, like, actually good level design, probably not worth it. I would say Mario Sunshine's, like, only real problem is the, the blue coins. Like, I think the game is perfectly fine until you start hunting blue coins. Other than that, it kind of takes a nosedive. That's fair. I part of the issue is that I also really dislike a lot of the secret levels. Oh, that's fair. Oh my god, these guys are the fucking best Mega Man enemy. You still hear me? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, the Chingo Machine is very inconsistent with its grab uh, physics, and the Lily Pad ride is a little too strict. Where if you miss a single red coin, you lose. Yeah, that's fair. Overall, I still like the game, though. No, I do, too. I think Mario Sunshine is a really cool game that has a lot of unique ideas to it. Flood's a great mechanic, for sure. Very fun platforming. You memorize where the vast majority of blue coins are? That's fair. And and and, and to, to be fair, if, you're, if you have, like, some sort of... Um, not even a guide, just something to like keep track of which blue coins you've already obtained. It's not too bad, but it's just a little cryptic, I guess. I'll let you know, by the way, do you want to know what, like, which weapon the boss is weak to so you know which other weapons you can use to take these guys out quickly? Yeah. yeah. 
It's uh, shotgun ice is the weakness of this boss battle. Alright, that's good. Oh, you keep getting sniped by like a few minor enemies. Oh, an extra life. That is very useful. Oh my god, these Metars are the fucking best! <laughs> yeah, they sort of come up and snipe you and come back down. Alright, there's gotta be... He's never felt like hunting down all the blue coins. That's fair. I'm gonna say be careful, because Boomerang Cutter runs out pretty quickly. I think normally if I need to farm here, I use Fire Wave. Yeah, because that's a pretty, like, close-range weapon. Be careful about the charge version, since that'll, uh, yeah, do that. There you go. Yeah, this is this is very nice. <laughs> hey, Hello, Nova. Nova. Caitlin there. here showing us some of that Sigma grind set. The joke was too easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice. Yeah, you got a fire okay. wave, sadly. We can use a couple of others. We got one sub tank. Uh, yeah, homing torpedo or something like that is not a terrible thing. Yeah, that's the boss. Alright, you know what? I got one sub tank. I'm fine. Uh, you said shotgun right. ice? Yep. All right, there we go. So the thing about this boss is, well, I guess you'll see in a moment. Oh, is this the, I think I remember this one. You have to like, yeah. Oh my this God. This bow spider, yep. You have to wait till he opens his eye and then shoot him with, with shotgun eyes. Like that. Oh, what a bitch. And he always follows the lattice structure. It's like one of those pipe games. Oh, the window for that is way too small. It, it is very small, yeah. You have to like you have to time it pretty much perfectly. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's like a, a couple frames. <laughs> that being said, shotgun ice does do quite a lot of damage. It's a neat That's idea. A neat idea <laughs> yeah, it's a neat idea, I guess. I just wish I the window like wasn't so little. I get that. I do like Bow Spider, but I do agree that he's... The window is a little too small, especially for, like, um, players who aren't used to sort of how fast it goes. Because it gets faster as the battle goes on like that. Uh, by the way, if you do, in the event that you do run out, if that happens, uh, the Spiral Crush Buster is your next best bet. Okay. But you might do it. You're getting pretty close. Yep, I think uh, I got this. I just need to be... Yeah, you got it. Oh, oh God, fuck you! <laughs> Alright, one, one more. more. You got yep. it. Yep, yep. Yeah! What a bitch. Get out of here. And there's your there's your permanent checkpoint, essentially. On to Yo. stage two. Yo, perma? We perma voice? Let's go. So wait, can I go to another stage and come back then? And it'll put me back at stage two here? Absolutely yes. Yo, let's go. The Like I said, the only thing you cannot do is turn off the game, basically. Then you will be set back to signal one. In that case, could I go uh, to... I Wait, it's this guy's stage, right? Correct. That's that's the grinding one? Can I do that? Yep. Absolutely. All right, cool. I'm going to do that, because I want 
I want them sub tanks. <laughs> nope, I'm totally valid. I, I will admit sometimes I head back to Arm and Armadillo stage to grab some sub tank energy myself in between Sigma's uh, two and three or whatever. Uh, Jess, I would I All I'm gonna say is that is not the only spider in this series. Far from it. Uh, all right, you know what? Hang on. Honestly, Nova, I do I do disagree because Mega Man X2 has a ridiculous grinding spot if you use one of the weapons. Um, Silk Shot allows you to literally create uh, health packs out of thin air in certain places. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's it's very useful in uh, Bubble Crab's level, especially. I will agree this is the best grinding spot in the game, but in the entire X series, eh, I don't know if I can if I can agree with that when when Bubble Crab's level allows you to fill up your sub tanks in like a minute. Yo, extra lives too? Like, Let's go. Uh, for for the record, uh, Jess, don't worry. All these spiders are very cartoony. There's no like. This, this is not Resident Evil or Devil May Cry. Thankfully. Yeah. I, I know people like, um, like Ash, uh, Ash Paulson aren't huge on spiders, and I get that. But yeah, the, the series never sort of crosses that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Uncanny Valley, I guess? That's some of the other series do. Like, it never hits realism or anything like that, exactly. which is nice. Like, the, the worst you get is probably Web Spider from Mega Man X4, but even that's pretty cartoony. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll definitely show you that later, Nova. I can, like, go grab some footage from it later, because it's, it's not super hard to do. You just have to know the right spot. What I, what I like is that every now and then they drop weapon ammo, which basically gives me back all the, all the tornado. Exactly. Birds have always freaked me out, but in video games like Mega Man, I find them harmless. Exactly. Like, the, the, the Mega Man series has always been good about sort of not making anything super duper realistic in that respect. Um, there's a couple of, like, bird enemies. Uh, that's more of a battle network thing, you know, like Larkman, Daddy Xe, or, um... Larkman. Yeah, because the swallow. Uh, so <laughs> I guess they didn't want it. I, they didn't want to name it Swallow Man. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Look, I'm just saying your your main villain of the original series was almost called Willy, so I cannot argue against that. Yeah, the Batons are really cool. Those guys have appeared in pretty much every game since the first. They're even in uh, Mega Man 11. Not not these, uh, not the Baton Bones, but like the generic Bat enemy. Uh, do weapons fill up between stages? Yes. I figured. Yeah, they, they changed that for the X series and they would, that would later carry into Mega Man 11. Damn, look at that. Look at this place. Fucking clean as hell. Look at this place. I know, right? The sprite work. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the grinding. It's really nice. <laughs> oh, as, as, a G, as a JRPG person, having like a grinding spot is very nice. I feel that. I, I, I will admit, for as much as I like Chrono Trigger, it did not really have one of those, unfortunately. Yeah, which, you know, is understandable to a degree, but have it, yeah, having one is always as, nice. Yeah, it's not as grind-heavy as, like, some of the Dragon Quest games or uh, like Fire or whatever. Yeah. That's another one I need to get to. I have uh, I have the GBA version of Breath of Fire 1, and I, it's on my list, but, you know. I think you'll have a good time. It's a really su Oh, full sub tanks. It's got a sort of unique vibe to it that takes 
I, I, it obviously takes inspiration from Final Fantasy, which by obviously I mean you'll see it immediately when you play it, but it does do a lot of its own things with the presentation and the characters especially. It's very cool. My audio got crispy. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it did It, it did sound a little uh, staticky for a minute, but it's fine now. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, you're good. It's because she's hot. hot. Let's go. All right, Sigma stage number two. Oh, you know what? This is the good grinding spot right here. Just look, walk right over, bam, bird guy's dead. Off screen him. Boom, look at that. And suddenly all the flamingos turned against Caitlyn. Gee, oh. I wonder why. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, don't come near me. Fuck you. Yep, there you go, rolling shield. Ah! Uh Little too early there. Best character. Eight battle network with a jacket to squirrels. Oh no. Yes, that is actually a line from one of the games. That's battle network five. Good game. Land, Land says, and I quote, I'll jack into your squirrel if that's what it takes. That's true. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. Now, I forgot the bat would die, so I just flew through it. <laughs> Here, you know what? One of them is bound to give me a life. True. One in... Well, remember, it's one in 128. Oh, you know what? Can I just use the homing missile, or is the shield the way to go? Yeah. Homing torpedo does kill them in one hit. Oh, uh, Overdrive Ostrich from Mega Man X2. Yeah, he can... He, he's really fast, so it can definitely be... Oh, they... Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty fast, so he can definitely be a bit of a challenge for, um, for, uh, no place. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the Flaminger enemy, yeah. Flaminger. <laughs> Look, I, at, at the very least, a lot of, I guess the Capcom employees had a fun time making enemy names. I mean, fair, except trucks. They just refuse to name trucks. Yeah, yeah, they didn't name the truck enemy. Oh, come enemy. on! Whoops. They didn't name the truck enemy from Mega Man 10. Yes. Overdrive Ostrich is the one mean name that I like to say. Because that's his actual name. That's literally what he's called. Or, I guess, Sonic Ostrange, if you're in Japanese. Ostrange? Uh, it's like O-S-T-R-E-A-C-H-E, I think is how you spell it. I'll have to look at it. Oh, get out of here, dude. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, you're going to start to notice a lot more boss doors now. Because now the boss rush is really going to start kicking in. Nice, that's a good strategy. Because I'm the fucking best. Overdrive Ostrich sound like it could be some hectic ostrich racing game from Devolver Digital. Oh, I'm backwards. I'm backwards. I can't see who it is. Who is it? Just Kill just... Penguin. <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. I was making a bit. Uh, what is he Fire weak away. to? Oh, uh, duh. <laughs> Only he can still do the body slam, though. I'll just... I'll let him do his thing. He's... Oh, he, he, you choking? You choking, bud? You okay? 
This is one of the things I love about the X series boss weapon in particular because you can see how far you've come from the beginning of the game. Whatever, fuck, this guy sucks. Yeah, but yeah, that's always kind of something. He's choking on, choking on these what, Cassidy? Say it. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> I know your stupid ass is giggling right now. <laughs> Spicy nugs. Hmm, I don't know how to feel about calling Fire Wave a nugget, but all right. Look, it's better than whatever dumb name they gave those flying guys. Oh, the Jim Mingers. That's, that's a bad name. I'm gonna be real. Again, it, to, to be fair, it, it does it does oh. make sense because it's Jam Mingers. They can jam these nuts in their mouth for all I give a shit. Jesus! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> Why can't I say that enemy name on Twitch? What? <laughs> it what sounds is, like a bad what name. Is that name? There's just... It sounds like a bad word. Like you, you agree? Okay. I. Uh, yeah, only because everyone else was saying that. Oh, be careful! You're about to die. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Cassidy agrees. There you go. Invincibility! Alright. I'm assuming it's uh, Storm Eagle. Correct. You speak to Chameleon Sting. Good old Storm Eagle. It was a different era, true. Nine, 93 versus 2022. Very where credit is due, though. Like, the series is, like, the, just in general, the Mega Man series has never been, like, afraid to tackle sort of, like, themes of... I don't even know how to put this. It's never really been afraid to tackle sort of themes of, of racism or sort of man versus machine type things. I mean, because that's basically what Sigma's quest is, is he wants to kill all the humans. And it may not be as expanded upon as in, say, Mega Man Zero, where the villain is quite literally a dictator, but still. <laughs> not Sigma again? <laughs> no, I don't... I don't want to spoil who the villain is of the first Mega Man Zero game, but it's... It's, it's sort of a really nice payoff if you play it with the X games. Oh, oh, I'm about to fucking die. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. I'm the, I'm the best fucking Mega Man player of all time. Yep, 93. It means this game is 30 next year. What is, what is the concept of time? Uh, by the way, the next boss is the last one of the stage. You're almost done. Oh, that's good. Okay. Unfortunately, it is fucking, also two chameleon stings. Uh, fucking Wheelie Willy over there needs to get out of here. <laughs> I'm tired of these guys. They suck. Uh, you said chameleon? Yep. It's weird that they have an even number of bosses, but... The, oh, yeah, because I forgot. It's like a special boy. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Guys. Oh, Okay. Yeah, so this is Rangda Bangda. He'll attack you with both of his eyes and the nose. And be be careful, those spikes are instant death. Rangda Bangda. Okay, now they had to know that name was not okay. What's wrong with that one? I don't know. It just, it sounds like, it just sounds like, like cultural appropriation or something. It's just. I, what? It just doesn't sound great, you know? Like... I... Cultural appropriation of what? I don't know, it just... It doesn't culture. sound like... It doesn't sound like a word that Mega Man should use. I... I, I disagree, but... 
I I will not argue that point. Yep. All right. Oh, be careful, let's say, because if you kill the nose, it's gonna the the, re the arena is gonna be permanently like this. What? Why did you tell me that before I killed it? Because I didn't think you'd kill the nose first. I thought you'd kill the eyes first. Oh. Oh, be careful. Remember when I switched to the opposite ah! side? Of the oh. I tried. Oh. I tried my best. You almost got it. You you can get it this time. Like focus on killing the eyes first, so that way you can focus on the nose when it's uh. Oh like, shit! I'm out of, I'm out of fucking sting juice. Uh, is there another one that would be good for them? Probably. I think like storm tornado or homing would be good. Unfortunately, no. You're gonna have to use the Buster. Ugh. You do have some chameleon sting. I mean, some sure, but. Oh, I didn't uh even hit dash. Oh, I have a feeling I know what happened. If you double tap a direction, you dash. That's called the command dash. Oh, gotcha. All right. Oh. It's d don't worry. That's the bane of every single Mega Man player's existence. I have done that a million times, and it's extremely annoying. Like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> exactly. Oh! Don't worry, I filled up my sub tank a little bit, so it's worth it. Here's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna charge it. There you go, pro strats. Oh! Uh, well, it was pro strats. I'm mostly a pro. Let's be real. Mm, a good 80% of the time, yes. Uh, no, like 100%, because I made Mega Man, mm, you know? So, like. You did just you did just dash into a bottomless pit. You can't prove that. I literally can, five seconds ago. Do it. Prove it. I mean, I. do you really want me to, like, go back and clip that? I mean, I could. I mean, you could do whatever you want. It's up to you, <laughs> but... God, it's fucking stage, dude. I know I said that Sigma 3 was harder, but it's, it's not... I'm trying to think how to say it without spoiling it. Like I said, Sigma 3 is challenging for a very different reason. It's it's not because of the platform. This is really the last stage with like challenging platforms. That's good. I do love how each uh, Sigma level has its own music though. Know? That's really cool. Yeah, that's actually a really nice touch. I appreciate that. Yeah, because the, the classic series often reuse a lot of music tracks for multiple uh, Fortress levels. Oh. I know in particular, um, I mean, everyone loves Wily Stage 1 and 2 from Mega Man 2, but Wily Stages 3, 4, and 5, eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Not my, not my favorite, I'll put it that way. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna use homing torpedo if anyone. Or you can, uh, you know, you can use charge rolling skills as well as a good tactic. Just, uh. The, I don't know what it is, but sometimes, like, the game just, like, <laughs> lags for a quick second. I think it's because of the amount of enemies or projectiles on the screen. That's not an X Legacy Collection thing. The game always kind of does that, sadly. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, this game was like an early Super Nintendo game, so you cut some slack, because it was 1993, but it is something they would iron out in the later games. That's good, Although, at least. Well, X3 has a lot of lag, but 2 and 4 are much better about that. Next 112 will say I'm 5 games too early, because you are. Metal Anchor is X6. Good weapon, but it's not in this game. 
Oh, you. Uh, if you do like play X Six Metal Metal Shark Player is probably one of the best bosses in that game. He can re he's in, he can resurrect dead Mavericks from previous games. I mean, that's cool that I'm I'm not playing X Six. I have no interest in X Six. It is. It is not a great game. <laughs> We finally got them to say it, everyone. <laughs> no, I, I said I have, I have never shy to admit that X six and seven are not fr from a game design standpoint. They are not good games. I enjoy playing them, but that does not mean they're good. Where's Metal Anchor two? <laughs> Metal Anchor two. I mean, in a way that that kind of exists because a couple of other weapons in like the later games do have a somewhat similar functionality. Uh, Zero's Rakukojin is replicated with uh, Enkujin from X8. Okay, this Man. guy just sucks. <laughs> this guy. Just sit in the corner, you fat bitch. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the penguin sucks. He's not going to be in Batman 2. <laughs> Suddenly, Flame Mammoth wants to DM you something. <laughs> All right, yep, uh, get out of here. Oh, no, kinda... let me out. Oh. oh, wait, and then here I do the sting. There you go. One thing I do kind of wish the series introduced a little bit sooner was taking ride armors into into boss battles, because that didn't start until uh, X4. Oh, and then but, you said sting man. for this guy. Yep. Taking the uh, the ride in ride armor into Magma Dragoon's fight next four is very cool. Yeah, I was gonna say honestly, it might be a good idea to use uh, the Buster for Eagle if you want to like save it for Ranga Banga. <laughs> the fucking name. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It, it 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 just has like a similar vibe to like Bongo Bongo from Ocarina of Time, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Can't believe Nintendo. If it means anything, the boss of the third Sigma stage has a relatively normal name. That's good, at least. Oh my god, I'm oh. smoking this dude. He sucks. God. Oh. No, he just sucks. Hang on. Man, Mujigun is the Shoto Maverick. I mean, you're objectively right. He uses the Hadoken and the Shoryuken. And that's not even like a, oh, he kind it kind of looks like it. No, he literally screams, Hadouken and Shoryuken! That's why I'm glad someone for uh, Smash Mod uh, gave Ken a, uh, a Magma Dragoon alt. Yeah, exactly. It works very well. You almost got him. Got him! Just busted his ass with lemons, baby. Let's go. I guess you could say the eagle has landed. Oof, roasted. Got him. I feel like I didn't make up that, that specific pun, though. I feel like that was an achievement in, in some way. Mm. I mean, besides the, been. like, original usage. Damn, if it's not a full sub tank, it gives you like two HP. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sub tanks got a lot better in the, the Zero series in particular. Which actually kind of makes sense because the Zero series is very challenging. Alright, so this is the Stink Chameleon guy, right? Yep. Alright, let's go. The joke went sky high. Uh. Yeah. I think you'll get him this time though, because now you know how to now you know how to shoot the eyes first. You 
You might want to use a sub tank, cause you're yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh my god, this menu sucks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, close. Nice pattern recognition. Alright, just the nose. It stays like this anyway because I can only fight the nose now. Well, yeah, but it's, it's easier to fight the nose because you don't—you you can stick to one of the walls now. Oh, just be careful not to fall into the spikes. There you go. Oh, oh my god, it made me fall and I was about to yelp. <laughs> oh. so, no, don't worry, the game doesn't, doesn't, even in the later X games, like if you fall on spikes when you're um, finishing a boss, it doesn't kill you. The only time it will kill you is if you fall into a bottomless pit when you kill the enemy. Oof. Uh, isn't so there example, a moment in uh, in Mega Man and Base where they toss you into a pit? Oh yeah, so the the first fortress boss of Mega Man and Base, which is uh, Mon, Mon King R, I think is what it's called, is pretty infamous because you fight him over a lava pit, and in Mega Man and Base in particular, the game locks control once you score the final hit. So if you're on the platform where where you're like trying to weigh it down to hit Monk King R. If you're on that when you land the final hit, you're dead because you'll, you'll just fall into the lava. Okay, y'all y'all keep mentioning it. There's nothing I can do, and you're gonna have to deal. <laughs> I will. I, I I will be the first to admit, despite the fact that I do think Mega Man and Base deserves a little more credit, the the fortress bosses are annoying. Especially, uh, everyone, I'm sure you've heard of the, the King Jet meme with the fists and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one of the bosses of the, the second King level. That's part of the reason why that level is so annoying, is because there's, what, four bosses in that level or something like that? It's, it's pretty irritating. Mega Man 8 has a moment like that also. Oh, you're referring to, um... Oh, which boss? It's not... Hmm. Wait, which boss are you referring to? Because... Aitita Mino is not over a bottomless pit. Bill King, you're on the, the jet, so you can't fall. And then Green Devil and Wily are both not over pits. Are you referring to Tangu Man, I guess? I mean, the arena takes up almost the entirety of the screen. Almost? Yeah, the only bottomless pits are on like the left and right far edges of the screen. So like, if you fall into the pit, that's, that's kind of on you at that point, because it's really far over. talking about the mid bosses yeah th there's a mid boss in um sword man stage where it's over a lava pit so if you but it doesn't lock control from the player until you land so you still have the opportunity to like land on a platform so you don't die all right there i got a couple extra lives and subtext so we're good yep. we're out all right sigma stage three is challenging but it's not challenging because of platforming you, you uh -huh. I, I assume you've been noticing that we've been you've been fighting the bosses again so is this one just the bosses now pretty much you have to fight all the rest of the bosses in a row oh okay 
the actual like end stage boss though is a lot easier than both the first two. Well, that's good at least. <laughs> All right, arm and armadillo. Yep, electric spark. There's a really cool sort of frame perfect trick you can do with this, uh, where if you use charge shotgun ice and have the platform push you through the door. Uh, the game doesn't load Arm and Armadillo, so you skip the fight entirely. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it's a cool, like, speedrunning trick. I wouldn't recommend it for a casual playthrough, because it is rather precise, and you're going to want to save that shotgun ice for Spark Mandrel, but... Oh, I just noticed how much, what my health is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't worry too much about sub tanks, because even though there's a lot of bosses in this level, there's also a lot of health things. That's good, at least. Yeah. And you said stage and 4 is literally like, just much... the Sigma part, right? Yeah, Sigma 4 is literally just the final boss. There's no other, like, there's no other challenge to that level. Be careful, because those bats are going to respawn. Oh, fuck. What? Alright. Nice. Uh, yeah, you can free, feel free to use Chameleon Sting kind of as much as you want, because none of the bosses in this level are weak to you. Ooh, good call. Yeah, nice. I'm smart. <laughs> Alright. That was, that was a smart play, I have to admit. Oh, Stingy Boy. So now, Cutter Boy. Correct. Sting Chameleon. Sting Chameleon. Plus one for the Mega Man fan base's insulted counter. Oh, fuck. This shitty lizard, get out of here. Uh, to be fair, what do chameleons do in real life? They suck. <laughs> they, they, chameleons I'm not suck. Dignifying that one with a response. <laughs> might want to use uh, if he's like super far out of your reach. You might want to use like a charge chameleon, or a charge chameleon, charge boomerang. Better. This guy is a huge pain in uh, X dives. He's in the there. Oof. <laughs> I'm not dignifying that with a response on me. More health. Oh, get out of here, dude. Do the uh, the pickups respawn or no? Uh, no. Roasted. Okay. Um, uh, who's next? Uh, I'm assuming. Am I gonna be right? I wonder. Yes, you're right. It is Spark Mandrel. Yo, let's go. Let's go. All right. Find me Stunlock. Oh. Be careful, he does still have invincibility frames. Monkey. One of the most cursed things I've seen uh, this year was someone making a spark mandrel looking NFT. Oh no, why would... It wasn't an actual NFT, it just looked like one. Gross. It was it was it was pretty gross. I was like, bro, you didn't have to make that. That was that's pretty yikes. More like cringe mandrel. <laughs> yeah. Ow. 
Ah, let me out! Oh. One, one, two, stare moment? Yes. Oh, I could just kinda. Alright. Oh, Jess is playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I hope you're enjoying it. Yo, shout out to Kirby. Kirby. Good game. Good game. Did you finish it yet? Yeah. Oh, nice. I have like. I have like. I think. Like two or three figurines left to unlock, and that's it. Gotcha. All right, launch octopus. So he's weak to rolling shield, but there is actually a really cool Easter egg you can do now that you have it. Try hitting him with boomerang cutter a few times. Uh, okay. You have to wait till he's not doing that attack, though. Oh, yo, what? Uh, switch back to Rolling Shield. So, if, since you cut off his tentacles, he can no longer do the water cycle. I mean, that move didn't really bother me. It's the missiles that bother me. Fair enough. Any more star coins? This isn't Mario. Uh Oh, you I'm out. I didn't realize. No. Oh, for Shadow Game, because you're he's dead yet. Yeah. The uh, star coins are uh, the basic collectible in that game, like the money. Oh, okay. I thought they were like Mario. <laughs> oh, all right. So up here, you'll you'll notice that there's a bunch of collectibles on spikes. If you normally try touching spikes, you're dead. But you are immune to them if you use chameleon skin. Oh, Grinch. Just, you might want to move quickly because if you, if the game catches you on spikes without Chameleon Sting, you are still dead. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Only Maverick boss left. Uh, what is... Oh, this guy's... Yeah, yeah. It's Big Chunky Flame Mammoth. Big Chunky... Yeah. This dude sucks ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he can't get me. I mean, that is that is a good strategy because charge storm tornado is a is a column instead of a line. Oh, uh, similar to Launch Octopus, if you try using Boomerang Cutter on Flame Mammoth, something happens. A little busy at the moment. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I'm assuming his trunk gets ripped out or something. You you got it. Yo, nice. I'm, I'm assuming it was the other, like, tentacle-like appendage he has. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more substantial because that means he can't shoot the oil at you to light it on fire. Ah, uh, Grish. Alright, final boss of this level, D-Rex. Boomerang Cutter. I have none of it left! To be fair, D-Rex also takes a lot of damage from the, the fully charged buster, so... Honestly, this this guy is probably the easiest of the, uh, the fortress bosses. Oh! Well, okay, oh. I, guess I'm, I guess I'm dead. Neat. I was trying to dash through and I just stopped moving. Uh, you said cutter. Okay. Is there? Yep. Is there? Does he have a weak spot? I'm supposed to hit because it didn't do anything. When uh, I just make sure you hit the top and not the bottom part. Oh. Uh. Don't get hit by that. That is a lot of damage. Uh, Buster shots should be able to uh, charge. Buster shots should be able to take him out. Cause you, especially because you got three sub things. I think you're fine. Oh fuck you, dude! I think 
you see your sub tank, sub tank. What? Fuck this guy. He sucks. D-Rex cer certainly hits hard, but because his hitbox is so big and unlike uh, Rangda Bangda and Bow Spider, you can always hit him. So you can like keep spamming the weapon and kill him pretty quickly. Yeah. All right. Next up is uh, nice Sigma, though. right? Correct. Sigma Stage Four is just the final boss. You have to you have to wall kick up to him. Uh, is there any grinding spot, or am I going back to the armor armadillo? Actually, yes. So if you charge rolling shield while you're in Sigma 4 and hang out around the little holes on the sides of the wall, enemies will continuously pop out, and you can grind until you have full sub tank energy. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Kurt. So this is the last level. This is Sigma 4. And yeah, these slug enemies have a, have a high chance of uh, dropping uh, health energy. No, not Ligma. This this meme, mm -hmm. this that this vastly precedes that meme. <laughs> I feel like someone at Capcom was like, "Guys, what if we just called it Sigma, and some people say Ligma?" <laughs> yeah, right. First try, I'd be very impressed. I I will be fully transparent. This final boss has three phases, so it's not easy. That's that's fine. We'll work it out. I'm just glad yeah. I don't have to play all that fucking platforming again. That platforming was the death of me. <laughs> Literal <laughs> death. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the the, the, the game. The, this is a checkpoint. You you will always respawn here every time. Even if you game over, you'll just respawn right at the. Yo. The, yeah. Look at this shit though. This shit is cool. Let's go. Yep. All right. So trust me, there. Uh, there's a reason why they give you such an easy grind spot right before the final boss. Uh, phase one is weak to shotgun ice, by the way. Okay. There we go. Oh, teleporting. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. Well, I mean, I, I, someone told me all the tips and tricks of your bullshit, so. <laughs> don't, don't disappoint me. Pupper! It's a pup! Alright, you have to fight his dog, Velgarder. Oh my god, this dog is the quickest fucking pooch in the West! Well, he's a robo dog, so. Oh my god! This pup is vicious! <laughs> That's why Shotgun Ice is super effective though, because because even though he's fast, he'll it'll almost always hit him. <laughs> Why'd you kill my dog, dude? Super uncool. <laughs> <laughs> Good job killing my dog, X. <laughs> dude, I'm here to stop you, not your fucking pooch. <laughs> All right, electric spark is the weakness of Sigma. Of... Oh, this uh, is his... Be careful, uh... though. He hits like a truck. One more hit and you're dead, basically. Oh! He didn't even swing. It was just his toe. Yeah, he does the... The toe of death. Oh no, Rush turned evil. It's funny you say that because Velgarder is most likely cut from the same cloth as uh, Treble from the classic series, since Treble is also an evil robo dog. Uh, uh, I, he's I, probably, I probably should have grinded that out before. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I think you're all right. That's Nova, shut up. That is not what it is called. It is Art Divine. I am not hearing this. Art Supplies? Because he, he says Arc Divine in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and Maximilian Dude memed it into that. 
It the the Arc Divine move is is actually the one you just saw though. It's the sword slice from this game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like how they uh, represented Sigma and in Marvel Infinite. They like did a good job, sort of uh, showing how he would play in a in a Mega Man game. Ooh, get just enough to spare. Get wrecked, God. Alright, now this time I'm not gonna get smoked by this dude's fucking dildo bat. <laughs> what? Tell me it doesn't look like that. I'm not, no, I'm not responding to that one at all. Alright. Yeah, can I use... tough tank. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I got this, I got this. Oh so yes, as you can see, Sigma is very fast, but he always does the same like two or three moves. So you can sort of predict what he's going to do next. The sort of ideal strategy is to do that exactly, where you sort of like wall kick up and then bait, which baits him to like kick up the walls and then drop back down and then get a couple hits in. Oh fuck you, dude. There you go. You, you kind of got it. Oh! Ooh. It was so close. Yo, you almost got it. it One, one, like two. A if it, yeah, if it makes if it makes you feel any better, if my girlfriend of all people is agreeing that it it, it is not what I think it is, then yeah, it's not what I think it is. I mean, the, 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 the whole series, especially X and later on Zero and ZX, do take a lot of inspiration from Star Wars. Um, but obviously, Sigma and Zero both use, like, lightsaber-type weapons, the beam sabers. Uh, Vile in Japanese is called Bava, like Boba Fett. Uh, um, and then Sigma, a Sigma they, male. Uh, yes, I guess. By technicality. Then, <laughs> by technicality. And then in the Zero series, uh, word for word, the line, I'm gonna have, I have a bad feeling about this is said. I mean, that's just, that's something everything says. That's not a Star Wars thing. That's true, but considering earlier on in that same game, they talked about hibernation sickness, that's a little on the nose. I mean, fair enough, I guess. I, I feel like that, that line is not something Star Wars made, though. Fair, fair. Alright, there we go. Yep. I do like that uh, it has a special sound for when you fill up a sub-tank. Yeah. Star Wars God. invented stand. I, I wish the fucking wall jump in... Super Metroid was as good as Mega Man X's. Holy shit. <laughs> like, I know, right? Oh, what the... Super Met when year did Super Metroid come out? 94, so it came out after this. What? And it didn't yeah. have this type of wall jump? Bruh. Dude, Super Metroid is... I know people like it, but it's it's crusty, man. That game's crusty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. It's, it's good. It's just, you know, it's... People call that like the perfect game, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. We we played two different games, homie, because what I played was not perfect. I will, I will be the first to admit I like Super Metroid, but I mean, it's good. As, as, like as I, I like it. <laughs> uh, considering this is my favorite game of all time, going from this wall jump to that one, it is night and day. Yeah. Star Wars invented sand. <laughs> it's a, well, it's a good thing <laughs> Persona 5 invented color. So that way so, no, so that way Star no. Wars was able to be filmed in it. <laughs> Persona 5 invented masks. It's a good thing that that came out before the pandemic. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe a little maybe a little too harsh of a joke, but it, I, I thought it was funny. Wait, what is he doing yeah. there? What is he doing? 
I always forget the start button is not use. Yeah, it's uh, the shoot button. You almost got him. Okay, what is that? Like, I didn't even deal with that once last time. What, the, uh, the blocking or? Damn yeah, he, like, just sometimes it just doesn't hit him. Oh, so when he when he does that sort of stance where he's like holding the sword like that, he will block all attacks. So you have to just wait until he lowers it. Gotcha. The the, the sort of strat I use when I'm not hadokening him and telling him the one hit is um I stick to the wall and sort of wall kick towards the top, so that way he continuously goes back and forth. And then when he's getting close to me, I'll like drop down and hit him from behind a few times. Oh, okay. Cause he, cause in order to, in order for him to like get up there, like all the way to the top corner, he has to like continuously wall kick. I agree, Nova. I don't agree in the perfect game either. Like I said, even though oh, this yeah. is my favorite game of all time, I will be the first to admit that it is not perfect. I don't like the fact that you, this game doesn't save in between levels, and I'm also not big on the fact that. Um, that the, the sub tanks aren't like to your health. Like it's, if you use a sub tank, you have to use it all at once. Yeah. And and that's the thing is like, I, I talked about it in my like hour long self podcast, but uh, I could, I could talk about Persona 4 for literally hours and you would think I'd hate the game with how much I complain about it, but I fucking love that game <laughs> and I'll never not love that game. Because I just love it means that much to me, but god damn it is nowhere near perfect. Because <laughs> perfect oh, doesn't right. exist. I, do, I agree I, on that. I do have to give a little credit. That's another one of my favorite games of all time, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I, I know uh that's a special game for Kurt and I personally, because that game uh I'm trying to think, was that the first game we bonded over? Or was was it Mario 64? I forget. Wow, both bad games? Crazy. Bruh. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I fucking love. Yeah. I love both of those games. <laughs> yeah, they're they're both amazing. Oh, it was Mario Sixty? That's what I thought. But yeah, Bowser's Inside Story is amazing. Like that game just has such a good sort of story. The characters are amazing. The the um the boss battles in that game especially are fantastic. I love the patterns of that of the bosses. And God, Yoko Shimomura can can she just like compose it? Almost every RPG ever. Yeah, real talk. The fact she did Xenoblade, Mario and Luigi, Kingdom Hearts, like Final Fantasy XV, she's a goddamn like annihilator of good music. It's so good. For sure. Street Fighter Two as well. Her her co compo uh, compositions for that game are just immaculate. There you go. Yeah, exactly. There you go. When, when he when he's like dropping a little bit uh, too low to you, it might be um, might be a good idea to like just like let go of all the buttons entirely, so that way you just drop straight down and uh, he won't like sort of kick you in the in the shin, I suppose. <laughs> Oops. What? This guy sucks, man. Yeah, he's not going to be in Marvel vs. Capcom hard. 4. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the Saber Slice especially. That does a ton of damage. One more? Oh! All right. Center so, of the room, baby. I have some bad news. Uh, the third phase of the fight is the hardest part. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> this is Wolf Sigma. Oh, he no. He's a fucking like furry. 
Yes. <laughs> use it. Use the sub tank because if you get hit once right now, you're dead. So, okay, Wolf Sigma's weak to Rolling Shield, and in fact, he is the only boss in the entire game that is completely immune to the Hadoken. You have to use Rolling Shield or a fully charged Buster. And, like I said, he, he, he's not like a- he doesn't have very hard patterns, but he hits like a truck. Oh my god! Yeah, he is- This dude's a prank! Like a truck. <laughs> this dude's just a bad joke. Yep. That being said, if you beat Wolf Sigma, you beat the game. That's the last boss. Alright, that's good at least. Inside you are two wolves. One is a normal wolf, the other is Wolf Sigma. <laughs> okay, they couldn't have had like a speed up button to this game. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I think there is actually a, a, an option to do that in the menu, question mark? I remember seeing that once, but... No, in the collection menu. Don't exit the game. It might, it might be. No, no, I'm not. I'm not fucking touching that option. <laughs> the sharpest claws in the universe. Yeah, that. The the fire breath. I think does like a quarter of your health. If you get hit by that, if you were if you were to go into this battle with no upgrades, if you get hit by that fire, you're dead in two hits. Like it's this this boss is very challenging, even if you have everything. But, uh, all I will say is, <laughs> X3 Sigma is a lot harder than this. I mean, it's a good thing I'm never playing X3. <laughs> I, I feel like, show you I, I feel like X1 and 4 are, like, the only ones in the series that would, many would consider mandatory for gaming. Like, if, if you had to, you I, know what I mean? I'm talking, like, Mario I mean, 64 status kind of game, you know what I mean? Alright, yeah, if we're talking, like, best games ever made or like the cream of the crop 2d platformers yeah it's it's one and four of the two that people sort of always point to but i do legitimately think there's a lot to love about two and three. Oh well yeah absolutely like but but i'm saying like if you had to like play the mega man games i think like probably classic one, classic two and then x1 and four i think those are like for the 90 or 80s and 90s games those are the ones Mega Man 3 as well, because because I, I know everyone, I know the whole Gamma's Law meme that I sort of permeated with, with how the game isn't finished, but that game is still, like, super important, because, I mean, it introduced the slide, which is sort of the predecessor to the dash from the rest of the series. That's fair. And I would argue Mega Man 11 is on the same level as those games, because it sort of refines everything up to that point. Um, Let's take Game as Law mentioned. Yeah, I don't know if you if you saw it, but like I made a twenty minute video about Gamma's Law, which is sort of the idea that if anyone questions why Mega Man Three feels like it's unfinished, it's because it's unfinished. Like the game was made in six months. Yeah. Wasn't there a Mega Man game that was made in like three? What? What Correct. game was that? That's Mega Man Seven. That game, right? Like, people like that one, right? Like, it's not the most yeah. beloved, but people like it, right? Yeah, people do like Mega Man 7. Uh, Mega Man Zero 2 is in a similar situation, where that game was made in four and a half months, and it was also still super well received. But, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a good comparison. Just because it's, like, a rushed game doesn't... Or, sorry, just because it's a good game, you can still absolutely see how it was rushed. Um... Like, for example, in Mega Man Zero Two, a lot of the bosses repeat from the first game. Gotcha. And in uh, Mega Man 7, you can see that there's, like, a lot of level design concepts aren't as fleshed out as they probably could be. And, I mean, I don't think I need to talk too much about Wily Capsule. Wily Capsule is its own, its own sort of discussion. Yeah, for for Sigma Phase One, I do try and recommend to keep you try to keep your distance if possible. 
Think what you doing all right, bud? Oh, you're trying to... Okay, there you go. Oh, I was oh. hitting buzz. Fuck you. All right. Well, I didn't use any sub tanks, but you know, I still got to do a little bit of grinding for the. Uh... Right, the weapons. Yeah. I do like that uh, this game sort of gives you an infinite grinding spot, because not all the games do that. Yeah. Um, in particular, <laughs> uh, 5 and 6 don't do that. I mean, that makes sense. 5 yeah. and 6 don't do a lot of things, from what I understand. Uh, 5 is still a decent game. Like, it's, it's not the greatest game, and there are absolutely some pretty garbage levels in X5. Tidal Whale's entire ocean can go to hell for all I care. That stage's awful. Wait, who's Tidal Whale? No, I'm not saying the alternative name. <laughs> you mean the correct name. The canon name. No. No. No, the canon name is Tidal Whale! Prove it. It's literally in the Maverick Hunter Field Guide, and in this game, and in the Collection Gallery, and if, even the Complete Works book. If I, if I boot up my copy, Mega Man X5, right now, it's gonna say something else. You know it. No, it's not. It's gonna say Tidal Whale. You can't prove Unless that. Unless you have, like, a PS1 copy, I guess. Yeah, thank you, Nova. Nova understands. Alright. No, honestly, Kurt, I understand why you like X2 more than X1, because X2 is introduces a lot of things that the first game sort of lacked, like having to dash at the start, the bosses are a little bit more aggressive, and the level design is a lot more dynamic than this one. Uh, they also fixed a few glitches here and there. Like, the dashing is much more consistent in X2. Okay, I think I got it now. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that's the strat. Oh yeah, the, the armor set in X2 is ridiculous. The So, slight spoiler alert, I guess. The arm parts of the second armor give you a double charge shot. Yo, that's cool. It's... It is completely busted. In fact, it's often better to use the double charge shot than some of the weapons. That being said, kudos to the fourth armor's charge shot from X4. Because you actually get to choose which charge shot you want. You can use either the stock or the plasma parts. And they both have their strengths and weaknesses. Oh. All right. Need to, I'm just gonna play it safe here. Good idea, especially because you're pretty close to hitting to killing him. All right, there we go. Oh no! Get out of here. One more. Nice. Midair, baby. Get out of here. You right. fucking... Now you got Wolf Sigma. You fucking brown boot wearing bitch. Get out of here. You you were kind of doing the right strat already, by the way. Hanging on the claws and just jumping and, like, jumping using rolling shield and landing back on the claws. You were doing the right strategy. Okay, cool. Just, just be careful of the fire, because the fire especially does a crap load of damage. Oh, what? Oh. Wait, why didn't the claw kill me earlier? <laughs> earlier in... crushed you, that's why. Oh, whatever, fuck. Bad game, zero out of time. Yeah, if you see this, the claw start to come towards you, you really gotta, like, sort of, again, let go of all the buttons and drop so that way you don't, uh, you don't get hit by it. Yeah, Wolf Sigma's tough. He's, he's tough. 
I remember it took me ages to beat this without using the Hadoken. Because I would because you can Hadoken Belgarder and Sigma pretty quickly. If you want to go grab it, you can, but honestly, I think you're at a I think you're getting close to being able to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt's got a point. So X3's final boss, Kaiser Sigma. The the reason why he's so challenging is his hitbox is extremely small and it's also very misleading. It's a lot higher than most people think it is. And to make matters worse, he does not have a weakness. You have to use the buster. So That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, Kaiser Sigma is a is an immense challenge. Especially, I think the reason why they did that is because the third armor has a, is is one is very strong for multi for a multitude of reasons. Not only can it do what's called a cross charge shot, where you can overlay two charge shots on top of each other, but if you start upgrading it further, you can like air dash twice. You have like seventy five percent damage reduction. It's insane. Wow, it really is faster just to do this. Yeah. Hardest boss in the X-Series? I would say the hardest boss is probably either... Yeah, Kaiser Sigma or... Cause, X4 Sigma cause fucking can blow my nuts. That guy X. sucks. I would say Nightmare Mother from X6 is also pretty hard. Same with uh, High Max. Not, not to be confused with me. Wrong Max. Uh... Oh yeah, no. Phantom Sigma is from X4 is is certainly challenging because it's three phases similar to this. But I would absolutely agree that Kaiser Sigma is way harder. Yeah, I, I have though, no idea. I just don't like X4 Sigma. <laughs> oh yeah, it's X4, just the final Phantom phase Sigma fucking is... gets me. Is that good? It's just the final phase fucking gets me every time. Yeah, because it's it, you have two health bars to worry about. You have both uh, Earth Sigma and Gunner Sigma, especially because um, Earth Sigma's debris is completely random, so you sort of have to react as it's coming out. Though there is a couple <laughs> of things you can negate it entirely. Um, for example, if you use the plasma shot, it'll always destroy all the all the rocks. Um, that's one of that's the arm parts. Uh, another example is, uh, you can sort of do a charged rising fire to get above Earth Sigma, and then you, then you can just hover in the air and use Ground Hunter to destroy him. Gotcha. And Gunner Sigma, you, you just use, you do the same thing. You hover, and then you use Soul Body until he dies. <laughs> Jess. Yes. Jess. <laughs> I'm not she gets it. To she gets it. I'm not responding to that. Why not? It's funny. It is funny. <laughs> See? I'll put it that way. Then I'm what's gonna, the I'm problem? End the <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. Oh, you almost got him. One more hit. There you go. Yeah. My no fun card upgraded, fine. <laughs> wow, that card gets a lot of upgrades. <laughs> I know, right? Alright, I'm gonna heal up because I don't fucking trust this guy. He's gonna fucking oh, wail yeah. on if, me. If you get hit now, you're dead. And you got four sub tanks this time. Yep, it's because I'm the fucking best. All right, you got this. Uh, to dodge those electric balls, uh, usually what I do is I just sort of dash. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, 
What I, what I do to dodge those electric balls is to sort of dash right through them. Because there's a small enough window that you can just, like, do a quick dash. Oh, watch the fire! Oh my god, I have, like, no room to do fucking anything in this game. Oh, wait a minute. What? Yes. Yeah, you can do that. You can stand right on the side of the claw and do that. Oh. Ah! It's about to heal! Well, you know the strategy. Well. Alright, I got this. Yeah, you, you got this. Like I said, right at the end of the game. I... You know what? I've only been at this for like a half hour. I thought this would be way worse. Yo? No, honestly, Yo, Shellshock rating! Oh, Shellshock! Yo, let's go! Shellshock and the crew, let's go! It's the final battle, too. Very, yeah. very fitting. By the way, Caitlin. Oh, yo? Fuck that tilting mini game. <laughs> yeah, that mini game sucks. Uh, in Kirby Forgotten Land, there's a tilting mini game that uses gyro, and uh, some of those stages are just absolute pranks. Oof, that's unfortunate. But it, there's only six of them, but and uh, three of them are just like hard mode versions, but like they're still like pretty rough, doable but rough. That does sound annoying. Luckily, it's the only motion control thing in the entire game. Cough, cough, Mario Odyssey. Ah, such a shame, because that's, that's another one of my favorite games ever, but I absolutely understand the sort of... the criticism that in order to get the most amount of speed, you have to shake the, control, the, the controller. The... And some of the other, like, gyro-required stuff. Because you can only... the only way to toss your hat upwards is to literally do the motion. Yep. But yeah, the, the Kirby minigame is the only motion control thing in that entire game, and that's really wonderful. That's good. <laughs> Alright, let's fucking put this pooch down again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, do I have to... <laughs> is there like a fan mod to get rid of this guy's dialogue? <laughs> I did <just> like... <laughs> No, the, unfortunately, the whole skip boss dialogue thing didn't really start until, um... Not even Mega Man Zero One. Mega Man Zero Three is the, is the game where they started, like, doing that. Gotcha. <laughs> Jess, I love shaking the entire console to move. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Mario Odyssey. Although, actually, wait, no. I would say no, because... The dialogue does start skipping in X2 even, never mind. The Sigma just sort of jump straight into the battle, same with X3. I will say, I love the wall jumping in this game, but you can't do it as quick as you can in 4, so therefore yeah. this is a worse game. Bruh. <laughs> Look, no, you, don't, admit, you don't have the poop way. jump. You don't have the poop jump. What do you mean by that? Uh, every time you jump off a wall in that game, Mega Man makes a noise, and it's 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 him like doing, doing like a uh, like he's like you know like exerting himself. But it sounds like he I'm says not... poop. I'm not responding to that. No, boot it up and go wall jump in the tutorial stage I and tell me he doesn't say. I know it. that's that's why I'm not responding to it. <laughs> <laughs> I love being right. It sounds like, uh, what is it, that Spongebob episode with the Flying Dutchman, where he makes the poop loop? It sounds like that. Is the Flying Dutchman even in that show anymore? I don't know. I haven't seen that show in oh. fucking ten years. <laughs> uh, one or two more There's hits and some... he should be good, right? What's up? One or two more hits and he's out. Yep, one more. Yeah, one one more and he's dead. Because Electric Spark does two damage. There you go. I can take one hit from Wolf Sigma, right? right? Pretty much. Yeah, you can take one hit because 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 I think it I think the most he can do is the electric attack, which is about a quarter of your health. You'd have like two or three notches.
Ah, uh, you can take another. Alright. Now you need to heal. Yeah. Alright. Oh, fuck! Almost. Fuck these claws, it's, it's, man. It's a little precise with how, sort of, like, where, where, where the right place to stand is. I, I would say for the most part, yeah, just, just jump and shoot that. Oof, that was close. It was very close. Remember, you have the body armor, so, uh... <laughs> Think about how much damage you would be taking if you didn't have that. Alright, I don't trust myself, and I don't trust Sigma, so... You're very close. You're very close. Oh. It's possible. Oh, come yeah, the rolling shield is two damage. You you could do it. Oh. You're so close. You got this. I knew it. I knew one of them was gonna fly at me. I knew it. It was so close. You are. You got it, though. You got it. Oh, Cassidy says every major character gets used except Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, wait. Why are those two not used? Uh, they're voice actors. Oh, right. I remember. Ah, oh, rip. His last appearance was in 2019. Oof. It's been a fucking minute. <laughs> Alright, so, I think I got this. I was pretty fucking close. Yeah. I was what, like two or three hits away? Three hits, yeah, because cause it's because rolling shield does two damage. Who was Mermaid Man voiced by? Was it Adam West or was it someone else? I forget. I want to say it's not Adam West. I think it was someone else. Kurt, I know you didn't get to the end of X6, but one of the funniest things about X6 is that Sigma is one of the easiest parts of that game. Like, no joke, he he go, he dies very quickly to his weakness. Uh, his first weakness is Metal Anchor, and then Phase 2 is weak to Magma Blade, and he, if you use either Magma Blade or some of the Giga attacks from the the blade or shadow armors, he literally dies in like 30 seconds. It's hilarious. Oh. Pretty rough. <laughs> rough for him, at least. Yeah. X7 Sigma isn't too challenging. Uh, <laughs> wow, he shows up in X7 as well? Crazy. <laughs> no, he... The, this, the second form is a little bit tough because it's most of the arena is a bottomless pit, so you do need to be careful not to get, like, knocked off or something. But his attacks don't do that much damage, and if you use one of his weaknesses, like Splash Laser or um, Explosion, he dies pretty fast. Professor Sigma is pretty based, actually. I, I, X7 may be a mess of a game. That fight is actually pretty fun. Professor Sigma? 
Oh, uh, do you care about X7 spoilers? I couldn't care less. <laughs> All right. So essentially, the the story of X7 is Sigma poses as some sort of professor, and he tricks a group called Red Alert into committing a bunch of crimes, and he manipulates them behind the scenes. And the group's main leader is Red. Gotcha. I mean, it's better than whatever X4's plot was, I guess. I mean... Replicas. I mean, at least X4 has, like, a really great game underneath it. That's true. Oh, sorry, spoilers. I mean, to I mean, be fair... You, you already suspense. warned about it. That's true. I won't spoil the end of X8, though. X8 is... X8 ending is awesome, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I want anyone to be ruined on that one. So, like, with X7, was that, like, by a different team, or was that just, like, the team didn't know what to do with 3D? Good question. So, both X6 and X7 were not done by the regular Mega Man team. X6 was done by Production Studio 1, if I remember correctly, and X7 was done by Production Studio 3. And what other games did the X7 team make? Well, let's see, Resident Evil Zero, and oh, now it starts to make sense. <laughs> Just boy, that's it. They already fucked up with yeah. Zero. They they made a few other games, not that none of them were very good. I just that's the first game that came to mind. Gotcha. Yeah, but it, essentially they just, they weren't really the best developers in general, unfortunately. And part of the other reason was honestly just, they had a lot of ideas and where they wanted to take X7, but they got to do none of them because the game was rough. Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense. So was it bad? Or like, I guess, quote unquote, bad because it was rushed or was it just like, they just kind of didn't really get to like, you, you know what I mean? Like, um, unfortunately, X7 is kind of one of those games that was doomed from the start. Uh, that makes sense. It sucks too because they had some really unique ideas. Like, they were gonna have multiplayer even, which would have been interesting. I'm wondering how or, that would um, work. Probably like an arena fighter type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Or they had ideas for like some of like a, a more uh, intricate story. Um, they had a lot of ideas for how they wanted to like make the Mavericks, and they just didn't get to do any of that. There you go. That's the that's the strategy. Oh about. fuck this guy. He sucks. Yeah, Wolf Sigma's a tough one. See, I hate that he just knocks me over with his like electric move while I'm trying to move. <laughs> Yeah, it can definitely be annoying. X7 is actually kind of fun when you get to New Game Plus, but the fact that you have to <laughs> even get to New Game Plus in the first place is kind of a problem. Right, that in itself is the problem. <laughs> right. Like, it's to the point where most of the speedruns that take place on X7 are in New Game Plus. Oh, that makes sense. But... When you do get to New Game Plus and you have all the upgrades from the start, it is hilarious to see everything just completely get wiped out by your by your shots and your weapons. And there's actually surprisingly a lot of tech too, especially with some of uh, Axel's moves. I am right. glad the series ended on X8 though. That was most certainly for the best. All right, let's try it again. Yep. I'm assuming the charge shot doesn't do extra damage to, to fucking Poochie here. Nope. Charge shot only does extra damage because for Wolf Sigma, Rolling Shield is the only weapon he takes damage from except for the fully charged uh, Buster. So, you that, that's actually why Zero gives you the arm parts if you don't get them in play Mammoth stage, because otherwise you'd be completely screwed against uh, Wolf Sigma. Oh, okay. Yeah, X8 came too late. You're absolutely right. 
people people were too annoyed by X7, so they didn't even give X8 a chance. Which really sucks, because X8's a fun game. It does a lot of really cool things, like having an overdrive me mechanic for all the bosses, where they have like a, a super move when they get down to half health, which would later be used in Mega Man 11. Or, for example, there's like a, there's a double attack you can do if you fill up a meter. Uh, I would actually argue X7 is worse than X6. I think it's the worst game in the series. Uh, I don't know, because like from what I understand, X7 is just boring, whereas 6 is like, has poor design. I mean, that's true. X6 is, is a frustrating game, but I, I feel like part of the reason why I, why I think X7 is worse is because when you know what you're doing with X6, you can completely rip the game a new one. Like, it is not too bad once you once you sort of learn that, oh, these three or four moves completely destroy the game's balance. But again, most people don't know about that. I mean, that's, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think I would, I'd rather take a boring game over a straight up just frustrating one. That's understandable. X6 is super expert Mario Maker, yeah. Oh no. That's that's an accurate way to describe it. It's it's sort of like one of those Kaizo level hacks. But at least Kaizo is somewhat well designed. <laughs> Even that's if it's totally really hard. hard. Although that's some of those puzzles are easy. bullshit. <laughs> True. Oh, like like to give you a sort of idea of what X6 sort of pulls, one of the levels, um, has an, it has a giant crusher that will instantly kill you, and it goes up and down in rhythm, and uh -huh. it uh, you have to sort of like wait a lot in order to make sure you don't get crushed by it. That's uh, Metal Shark Player's Recycle Lab, or probably the most infamous example is Blaze Heat Nix's Magma Area, which has what? those. A nightmare snakes. What the fuck? Why didn't that sub tank fill me what? up more? Bullshit. Oh. But yeah, it's, uh, probably the most infamous example is absolutely Blaze Phoenix's Magma Area, just because it has five mid-bosses, and if you don't know how to kill them quickly, i.e. Metal Anchor or Ray Arrow, you're in for a rough time. Ah! I'm gonna be real, I feel like this boss just has, like, a little too much going on. <laughs> like, it's... It's just, like, a little too much. Yeah, I, I can see why people sometimes get very frustrated with Wolf Sigma, because it does, it does, uh, it does have a lot going on, you're right. Well, it's just like, okay, the claws spin in circles, and then he has the flames, the electrics, the, the up and down sparks, the, the claws could fly at you. Like, it's, it's just a lot going on, you know? <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Uh, so... Kurt, I, the reason why I, I, I recommended that you went to... That was my mistake. It's sort of... When I was telling you to do that, it was it had been a while since I played X6. And I... Honestly, I forgot which weapon was the insta-kill weapon. And I, for some reason, I thought it was Guard Shell. It's not. It's Metal Anchor or Ray Arrow. Metal Anchor kills the Nightmare Snake in one hit. Uh, Ray Arrow does it in, like, two or three. So that's completely my fault. I, that's why I sort of was telling you that you might want to try X6 again. Because if you go to, especially if you go to Infinity Maginion's Weapon Center and grab Ray Arrow, Magma Area becomes a lot easier because Ray Arrow destroys the Nightmare Snakes. Yo, thank you, Shellshock. I know I can do it. Yeah, it's tough. You, you it's it's more than doable. You... Yeah, I got close. Yeah. I was three hits away. So, you know, I can do it. It's just, you know, gotta gotta be quicker about it. I'm trying to remember which bosses did you beat. I want to see you beat what? Uh, Commander Yamark and Shield Sheldon, I think? Oh, donuts. Oh, great. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so. Uh, Shield Sheldon's guard shell is actually Infinity Maginion's weakness, so probably a good time to head over to that level.
Oh yeah, that's that's sort of a running theme. All of XX's bosses are pretty straightforward, except for Infinity Virginian. He can be a bit of a tough one because his gimmick is he can clone himself over and over. Okay. I wanted to make sure I was actually decked out this time. I didn't screw myself out of a full sub tank use, so. Nope, you got full sub tanks. All right, let's try this one more time. Generally, dual bosses can be pretty challenging. Like, you know, Gemini Man and Mega Man 3, or Infinity Maginion in X6, uh, Spike Rose Red X5. Or hell, even, well, actually that, I was gonna say a certain boss from Zero Two, but I, I don't want to spoil that one. That one's really cool. There's even some like dual bosses in the RPG games. Like Star Force One has a uh, Gemini Spark. All right, get out of here, pup. Not wanted. Yep. This music always Let's reminds back, me of the Mario 64 uh, Boo House. Oh yeah, Big Boo's on. It does kind of sound like that. You're right. Na -na 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 it sounds like that. Jess, I know earlier you were saying that um, you didn't like Mario 64 that much, and I understand that some of the later levels, especially, aren't as well designed as the other ones. But I think levels like Big Boo's on are pretty good. I have to right. yeah. Ugh. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. False alarm. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I had like, to sneeze. I, I, I get it though. Like some of the later levels, like TikTok Clock or Rainbow Ride, can be a little annoying. Uh, those, those can get fucked. Those levels suck. Yeah, R Rainbow Ride especially is not. I'm, I'm sorry, that is not a good course. You are waiting for half the time you're playing that level. And they didn't even fix it in 64 uh, DS. It's just as nope. bad there. <laughs> at, at least with TikTok Clock, you're doing something, I guess. I guess, yeah. Like there's actual platforming, but if you fall in either of those, you're just yeah. like you're done. You, you, yeah, you lose basically. The the sort of like last awesome course is probably Tiny Huge Island. That was fun. Yeah, that one's a good one. But yeah, that that later half of the game is just a mostly a nosedive in quality. Yeah, the, it's it's weird because they they sort of had this sort of what's the word I'm looking for? They had this gate. They had this sort of path where the opening of the game was very open and non-linear, and then as the game progressed, the courses slowly got more linear. Yeah, I, I, that's probably because they were they were rushed towards the end because they originally had like thirty something levels planned for that game, and then they, they had to cut it down eventually. Right. See what? Oh. Like, what am I? What am I supposed to do there? Because like, I either get hit by the electricity or I get hit by the fire. I have no victory there. <laughs> the 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 sort of play at that point would be to sort of. I mean, I the the play ideally would be to sort of stand in this in the small space between the fire and the electricity, but the other play would have been to sort of uh, would have been to wait until the claw rotates around, and then because if you've noticed, the claw isn't always on the wall. Sometimes it's away from the wall, and you can quickly wall kick up to land on the claw, and then just jump and spam rolling field. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, Jess, that is, that is, so, that is bad, but that's not Rainbow Ride. That is Wing Mario over the rainbow. And, the, and the that, other and course, on the other side of the, uh, third floor. Yeah, and that one is just, like, uh, it's an eight-coin level, right? There, It's not, like, a full level. It's a... Uh, yeah, there's only, uh, there's one star in 64. It's eight red coins, and then... 64 DS out of second star where you had to like hit a switch and then shoot yourself over to the switch. That level is ass. I have said this before. My sort of hot take on Mario 64 is that the wing cap is terrible. I mean, 
Yeah. I wish people didn't compare uh, in Sonic Mania, uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel. People say, oh, he's like the wing cap in 2D, and that's not accurate at all. Or he, the wing anything, cape? He's more like the cape feather. No, 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 no. The problem is he's the opposite of the... He, he, it's the opposite. So he is the wing cap. Because you have to dive up and down repeatedly, whereas in in world you just had to tap left. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. The wing cap can like it's not great. I'm not I'm not gonna defend that. Yeah. that it's not it's not great. <laughs> that being said, the other two caps are very cool. The metal cap especially is a great idea because it's sort of I mean it makes you invincible, but you also have to be careful because it hinder, it hinders your platforming. Does it? Yeah, because it makes you a lot heavier, so if you try making certain jumps, you might not make it. I don't remember that. No, it makes you a lot heavier. You have to be very careful, especially if you use it in um, levels like Hazy Maze Cave. You can easily fall if you're not uh, paying attention. Rich. It's that sort of trade-off. The Vanish Cap, I take it or leave it, I guess. It's sort of just an invincibility power-up. Really? I don't remember the metal cap being like a huge hindrance. I, I I don't know, maybe I'm smoking something, who knows? Nah, Cass is right on this one. You you do not jump very high with a metal cap. Oh, the mini games in 64 DS are dope as hell though. They are, yeah. All I'm so glad they, they added DS. them in new Super U. Or new Super uh, DS. Excuse me. DS, yeah. I would, I, I would argue, Jess, that you might like the base Mario 64 a little bit better because the controls are a lot more suited to the gameplay style since you don't have to hold the run button and um, the differing characters were sort of, I don't want to say slapped on because they do actually feel pretty organic to the game, but it, you can tell the game was made for Mario first and foremost, I guess. Uh, I... Controls are a lot, yeah, they're a lot more natural. I, I, I'd argue I, I'd argue DS is a lot smoother because uh, yeah, in the original I always have that issue where sometimes Mario doesn't know if he wants to like circle around or just uh, snap back into another direction and so like that's always led to a lot of deaths for me fair enough nice first two no damage Yeah. Right, well, no, he, he got me at the very start. He, like, tapped me. Oh, okay. Alright, so... Let's try this again. Move only shield, yeah. There you go, that's a good opportunity. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Good start, good start. Okay. You, use a sub tank, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, okay, hang on a second, Caitlin. You got this. What the fuck? These claws are the fucking worst. Yeah, the claws can be extremely irritating. See, this is what I mean. Like, the spinning claw shit needs to stop. That that shit sucks. That's just not good. Because <laughs> th that just makes it infinitely harder to, like, manage moving around. <laughs> ah. What? Just moving up and down and not... In a circle? That Then I'd be fine with it. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Ah. That's it. Uh, there's no way. Yeah. Yes. Dude. Yeah, it's 
Yeah, it's it's. I'm not saying it's not winnable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, the, uh, Final Boss doesn't need to have 80,000 things going on, though. <laughs> I don't think it's unfair by any means. I just wish there was one element of it that wasn't there, and that's the split, spinning in circles thing. The spinning in circles thing is the only part I have a problem with. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'm trying to think, because I, I do think... There's a lot going on with... X, well, hmm. Because X4's final boss is there's a there's a lot going on but he only ever does one thing at a time yeah that that's why that well i mean i still don't like that boss and i think it's even worse than this but that that is like manageable to a degree if only because i i can kind of understand how to react to each one since it's one at a time but like if it was the wind blowing and he was doing like like three different things at the same time then it would be kind of shit you know <laughs> i feel that i feel that all right i need to yeah, refill the, the, all the my subtext final sigma definitely <laughs> it's rough That's there, all. there's definitely a lot going on and i think part of it is is sort of the velgarter fight first i guess it might have been a little bit easier if you fought velgarter and sigma three as part of the boss run I mean, maybe. I don't know. I just... I just wish the claws weren't spinning in a circle. I just wish they were moving, like, up and down. Or the circles were maybe slower. Like, I'd be fine with that, maybe. But other than that... Because, like... You get, like, no opportunity to attack the guy because you're spending all your time not getting hit by electricity and fire. You know? Usually what I do is I try to... Oh, man. Again, stay on the walls. Um, whenever I'm not actively, like, jumping to hit wolf sigma with the rolling shield i stick to the wall and then if i notice that the electric attack is about to fire it close to me then i just sort of jump out and then try to land back on the claw because the electric attack is very brief yeah but but then then i run into the issue where the claws do their homing attack and that and that wind up looks the same as the electric attack the only difference is electric electricity doesn't shoot out so like they'll stop, open up, and then fly at you. Like there's there's very little like time for reacting. If you do notice that the claw starts to fly at you, at that point I would just say let let go of the let go of all the buttons and then try walking like around it because you can just walk to the yeah. right and either fall off the claw intentionally to dodge when it comes back. Or if you think you're positioning yourself right, just stand still and it'll fly over you. Yeah, I could probably do that. That's probably manageable. Because it doesn't it only homes in once. It doesn't uh it doesn't home in like twice and then go back. It's just a one. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I know that at least. I I would agree that this is definitely not the best final boss in the series. Um <laughs> unfortunately, actually my favorite final boss in the series is X4s. I, I really enjoy that fight just because of how <laughs> It's one thing at a time, and, and there's always, like, a pattern to it. Even if the debris can be uh, a little annoying at times. Yeah, that's, and that's fair. It's just, as someone who isn't, isn't, like, skilled at platformers, it's it's kind of rough, you know? I get it. Three, three phase final bosses in general are very tough. That's why there's not that many of them in the series. There's only X1, X4... X8, kind of. There's a checkpoint in between the first and second phases, but it is, like, you go straight from the first phase of X8's final boss to the second phase. Um, Mega Man 6 has three phase, as a three-phase final boss, but that boss is a complete joke because all three forms are weak, to the same weak, are weak to the same weapon, and it does a crap load of damage. So you can finish that boss off in, like, a minute. Even oh, less that's, than that, if you know what you That's mean. funny. Yeah, Un unfortunately, it seems Wiley did not think of Silver Tomahawk for whatever reason. Uh -huh. um, and then there's this sort of, probably the most infamous is the final boss of Zero Three, which again, I don't want to spoil it, but for those who have played Mega Man Zero Three, you know exactly why that boss has three babies. I think that's it, though. I can't remember any other 
like three phase final bosses. Uh, no, that's yeah, that's it. I'm so glad you told me about this strat. This makes my life infinitely easier. Yeah, did again. That's the strat I use when I'm going for like a minimalist run, where I just get no upgrades besides the required ones. And then Wolf Sigma is obviously pretty tough, as you can imagine, with nothing. But that's where that's where the the sort of wall cling strategy comes in. Come on, motherfucker. No damage on Sigma? Oh, yo, I got him on the rebound. Let's go. On, boss. Yep. There we go. No damage on Sigma. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, you're Let's getting go. it. I mean, to be fair, that's the easiest fight of the three. <laughs> it's because of that cheesing strat. Yeah, it's fair. Because of the cheese, yeah. <laughs> Delicious cheese. Yeah. All right, so I got four sub tanks. I got about two, maybe three hits, depending on what hits me. Uh, so yeah, I should be okay. You can do it. You can do it. See, oh, I, I try. I try to. I try to tap yeah, left or right. Go. I try to tap left or right to like. <laughs> oh, my, oh. oh my god! I didn't notice my health. Uh, tap left or right to. Uh, like reposition myself and I end up like moving off the edge. Yeah, because of the command dash. No, no, no. I mean like literally turning around, I move oh. like a like physically walk a pixel to the right or left and I fall off. I see, I see. Cause I'm trying to like you position myself to not get hit by the electricity at the same time, you know? I, I would say at that point sort of the play is to like I said try sticking to the wall because that way the electricity unless it's literally on the wall will probably miss you and if it if it does look like it's going to hit you even if you fling the wall jump the other direction and fall down because that way it won't hit you at all rich that makes sense because i have it is very rare for you to be in a situation where the electricity is about to fire and something below you is about to hit you like the electric fall or the fire yeah true you, because he only fires those attacks when you're there, <laughs> or he only initiates those attacks when you're there. I think you have full everything. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you're good. All right, let's go. You got this. You got this. All right, this fucking pup is going to the pound. Get him out of here. Jesus Christ, your threats against Velgarder are continuously getting worse. <laughs> Whatever, this dog sucks. <laughs> uh, you you will probably be displeased to know that he does actually return in one of the games. That being said, the other game that he returns in is not even in the Legacy Collection. He's in Mega Man Extreme 2. Oh, good. One that I'm never playing. <laughs> Don't. Mega Man Extreme 2 sucks. That's a bad yeah. game. Oh, wow. If, if you're just straight up saying it's a bad game, then, like... <laughs> it must really suck. Yeah. <laughs> God, just... And it's, it's unfortunate, too, because it does actually do a lot of really cool things. Like, that's the first game where you can swap between characters, because you can swap between X and Zero. But oh, neat. let me put it this way. there is You have to command dash in that game. It is a requirement. Oh, so, weird. very yikes. I mean, I guess they were working, working with what they had, but, like, that's still pretty rough nuts, dude. It's, especially with freaking... Because Mega Man Extreme 1 actually did allow you to dash with the select button. It wasn't great, but it was something. Oh, but it's not even an option in 2? Not even an option in 2. You have to command dash. That's dumb. The fact they took it, it is away is the dumb. worst part. That's like Pokemon taking away the experience share. Like, 
turning it off or on bullshit. Like, why would you take away the option? I know, it's, it's, Extreme 2 is, everyone memes about 6 and 7, no, Extreme 2 is the worst X game. I know everyone, like, at, like, a frequent question I get is, oh, what do you think the worst Mega Man game is? Um, I would say Extreme 2 is up there. It's not the worst, in my opinion, the worst Mega Man game is Battle Chip Challenge, because it's barely even a freaking game. Like, you're, you're just watching it play out itself half the time. Roasted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very yikes. But putting aside the not a game game, it's either that or, like, Mega Man 2 Game Boy, because that game is also pretty ass. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. He fucking tricked me. All right, I, I, was, I was like watching chat anyway. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> so that's my bad. That was unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine. Just a little bit of grinding and I'll be back to it. Yep. I have a fit. Yeah. What, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. He fucking tricked me, dude. He got me. <laughs> oh, I'm already done. Great. I'm out. Yep. Later, man. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to have time to get to the surprise I wanted to show everyone, but oh well. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me. I don't care. Whatever. Your dog sucks. Get him out of here. Bad dog. I'm gonna Bob Barker your ass. Get out of here. What? Again, how are the threats getting continuously worse? <laughs> it's so much easier to kill that dog if you just spam it. <laughs> he, yeah. only, he only hit me twice. What a prank. I, I don't understand why, for whatever reason, Velgarder just has almost no eye frames. It, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense since he's a mid, he's really a mid boss, if anything, but he's not like Anglerge or Udaboros where he doesn't even have like a health bar. I don't know. Or Thunder Slimer. I, I'm still sorry about what you dealt with with Thunder Slimer because you went to Spark Mandrel before Storm Eagle. Oh, yeah. Whatever. That that stage can get tossed on its regular mode. Yeah, that's definitely one of those levels where it's much, much easier with uh, with the, the layout change in your favor. All right. That being said, most of the other ones aren't really that different. Like... I don't even know if you noticed the difference with Sting Chameleon Stage, which is the water from Launch Octopus. Uh, no. Yeah. I did not notice. Like, that one's not... Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, I didn't notice. The, the only thing that really changes is it makes the heart tank easier, that's it. Or, same with Flame Mammoth, where if you beat Chill Penguin first, the... Uh, Factory freezes over. It's it's honestly just kind of just affects the heart tank really. Gotcha. I wonder. One one two. Can you do me a favor real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Can you look up uh, Mega Man X on ROMHacking.net? Is there a ROM hack that auto uses sub tanks when you die? I have never heard of such a thing, but I will look. That'd be very useful. I'm not, I'm not saying like I'm gonna quit playing and then boot up that one, but like, it'd be nice. <laughs> I remember the one big one I saw was, um, did make a couple of changes, but I don't think that was one of them. It was, uh, Capsule Remix, that's what it was. That did stuff like, Zero doesn't give you the buster after Vile, but he does, but Wolf Sigma can take damage from the regular buster. Or, uh, let's see. The hel- uh, changing the function of the helmet upgrade or whatever. Or X starting with the dash. Oh, that's a pretty good one, actually. I understand why they did that. 
because, you know, X2 and on when it starts you with the dash, but honestly, I feel like that sort of breaks the intro level. I mean, fair enough, but like, it's just the tutorial level. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. There you go. Hey, you know what? I need to... Yeah, stop tank, stop tank. You're doing good. Oh, what? You're doing well, though. If you can, like, keep keep up that sort of quarter health for time, you're good. What? Okay, you, you have to it jump sucks you can only have okay. one rolling shield at a time. And because of that... Yeah, you, you can only have one at a time, that's correct. Oh, I think you got him. Okay, okay. Stop tank. Oh yeah, Stop. you got him, you got him. Oh my god, Sigma, you actual cunt. Get out of here. You suck, uh -oh. dude. Oh no! Okay. Okay. This I is think rough. it was like two hits at this point. One more hit and you got yes! it. You did it! Yes! Fuck you! Yeah. It's over. Clip it. <laughs> Say. No, it's not possible. I'm a ref one. I can't be destroyed by you. That took Why, two Why have hours. You done this to us? That took two hours. Yeah. Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Oh my god. You did it though, you beat Mega Man X. Oh my god, it took so long, but I finally did it, let's go. I'm, I'm very proud of you, that was excellent play. Thank you. Yo, thank you, Jess. <laughs> the war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves <laughs> for the victory will never return. Who? who to, oh, is, is, is zero. I was about to say who died. Zero. Because I forgot that zero. zero <laughs> what my, what, what I was thinking was, I was like, well, I, zero comes back, so it's no big deal. Who cares? <laughs> uh, X gazes you know at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Uh, no. Spoilers. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Spoilers. Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he will fight. The Mavericks again before he finds his answer. <sighs> Seven times, no less. More if you count Extreme Win 2. <laughs> right. How long are we fighting for? Oh, great. <laughs> oh my god, Jess. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. I appreciate. <laughs> Given so How many long subs, pain last? <laughs> Maybe only the X Buster on his hand knows for sure. Oh, that is kind of cringe. Honestly, that's one of my favorite lines in the series because it sort of shows his resolve towards keeping peace as much as he personally can. See, the, the, my problem with it though is that in terms of gameplay, they never follow up on it. So, like, it doesn't really mean anything if you repeatedly make him go back to fight. I mean, they, they sort of make him put his money when it... This is why I know the enemy names, by the way, because they show up here. <laughs> Gulp for... <laughs> That's the... Yeah, the gulping robot. Yeah. Oh, oh Gunvolt. <laughs> Gunvolt. That's yeah, funny. Gunvolt. Death Raw Gummer. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gabby Ewell. These names... Metal Wing. Jim Tadoka. 
<laughs> That's still not a great name, I'm gonna be real. Fair enough. Oh yeah, Mad Pecker, those are the Woodpecker guys. Oof. That's a oof name right there. Don't worry, they do actually give the developer names after this. They're just doing the enemy names first. Yeah, they're doing like a banjo kazooie thing with it. Like, because right. rare always. Oh my god! <laughs> the fact they show up as like ghosts, they're like, we're still gonna haunt you. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are in Mega Man Extreme as computer programs, so they do kind of haunt us. <laughs> and. Oh, Ranga Banga, that's the fortress boss uh, from stage two. Oh. <laughs> 112 dropped their pen. <laughs> yeah, I dropped my. Uh, yeah, I dropped. I dropped. Uh, my pencil. Vile and Sigma. Both of those guys will show up later. Zero. Yo. Charge shot. Let's go. Oh, that's a close shot. And you. And as you Mega as Man Mega Man X. X. Let's go. <laughs> and Ligma. So, <laughs> fun fact, if you if you do the final few stages without the dash parts, which you can only do by like doing a password, the game crashes right there because you don't have the like parts. What? That's very funny. Yeah, so don't do that. It's also not fun to do those levels with the uh without the dash. Mm-hmm. Yo, what a good game. Good game. I, again, this game is super near and dear to me. It is my favorite game of all time, and I'm very glad you played this. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. It was sort of impromptu. Uh, I didn't intend for, I didn't intend to invite you, no offense, but like, it, it worked out since I had someone who was able to help give me like tips and tricks and whatnot. Hey, not a problem. Oh, and it was fun. I, it already out. scrolled by, but Professor F, that's Tokuru Fujiwara. He also made Ghosts and Goblins, and he was very influential throughout the early days of Capcom. Oh, nice. And then I think NF King was in there somewhere. That's KJ to do Wait, this this was in an era where developers were like scared of like Yeah, <laughs> like that's why you talent saw, picking. that's like why it's Professor F instead of Tokuru Fujiwara. Yo, this this song though is like so jazz. Let's go. It is. Head and I mean, to be fair, oh, Tokuru no. Fujiwara was headhunted from Konami, so. Oh, <laughs> roasted. Yeah. Huh? You've won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. <gasps> Scary. I can't believe he comes back. I didn't expect this. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna come back. Ah, uh, scary. I'm never gonna find out. Oh, uh, because I'm not playing the other ones. <laughs> I might play X4, but that's about it. <laughs> the game softlocks here, by the way. At this point, you can just exit out of the game. Ah, oh, cool. All right. This is where you would like turn the reset button on the SNES or whatever. Yeah. Um, in terms of things you didn't see, if you're oh yeah, you can't complete the award. Oh yeah. If you're curious about like yeah, I was gonna say if you go to the hunter medals. Um, oh, sorry, one sec. Sorry, you're good. Um, so these are the achievement system basically. Uh, there's 52 of them total. What you the only things you didn't see are, um. Yeah, we armed. If you if you get to the first Sigma stage without the arm part, Zero will give it to you when he dies. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And then defeating yeah, a boss with the spiral <laughs> crush buster self-explanatory. I'm oh, sorry. What'd you say? It said "Gimp my ride." Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh you wait, got all it. the armor parts in X4. Oh yeah, I've played X4. That's the only reason I bought this uh, legacy collection. Oh. <laughs> and then and then the other achievement was for the uh, Hadoken, which is in uh, Armadillo's level. E. And then what, this one? Oh, this is just the thing. Okay. You have to enter one of the games to do the special wallpaper. Oh, uh, Gritch. Gotcha. 
right. Well, okay. If you're curious how, like, soon after Sigma comes back, in, like, in real life, it's a year later, because X2 was 1994. Yeah. In canon, it's six months later. Oh, Grinch. I see. <laughs> X doesn't even get a full year to rest before Sigma's like, guess what? I live. <laughs> All right, so real quick. I'm going to set up something real quick it'll this will only be like 10 to 15 minutes this isn't gonna be yeah like a I big can wait thing. a little bit okay so give me a sec that was very fun by the way i'm glad i played it very important part of gaming under my belt now like like i said i will absolutely be the first to admit that x1 is not without its problems, but it is one of those games that influenced so much of what is to follow. Just in terms of 2D platformers and just Mega Man in general. Hell yeah, for sure. Very good game. Yeah. And I know you said you weren't going to play the other games, and I respect that, but I will say, to Kurt's point, X2 is very fun. If uh, if you like X1, it is harder because they expect you to have played the first game. Right. But it's not it's not like Lost Levels where it's literally like Worlds 9, 10, 11, essentially, whatever, because that game is very challenging. It's more it's more just the, the base difficulty starts out a little bit more difficult compared to X1. Like the Mavericks are a little more aggressive. The enemies aren't don't die in one hit to one weapon, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. That being said, there are some really cool things in X two that you can do to kill the enemies very quickly. Like, I guess I'll just throw this one out there: if you defeat Wire Sponge with his weakness, you bisect him. You literally like cut him in half. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, give me one sec here. I'm going to set that. Yeah, I know Kurt likes Bubble Crab a lot, because that is a good level. I know. Bubble Crab slash Tidal Whales music is a masterpiece. Oh no! You can all see it now! No, uh -oh. not, not allowed to see it. No. Wait. PSP? <laughs> mm, I have a feeling I know where this is going. I don't think you do. Shut up. Mm. Sh shut up. You don't know shit. All right. Yeah, Bubble Crab Steve is a banger. All the X2 songs are a banger. Like, Wheel Gator's uh, Dinosaur Tank is, is so good. As is uh, Flame Stag's Volcanic Zone.
No, why isn't it working? I hate this. Oof. Your power with X2 instruments, especially some X3 instruments is... Oh, yes, the instruments. Yeah, X3 goes a little too hard on the, on the guitar. I will definitely be the first to admit that. I do like X3 soundtrack, though. Songs like Toxic Seahorse, Crush Crawfish, Doppler 1. Those are good songs. Vile Stage 2. Oh, spoilers, I guess. Vile's in X3. Oh no, why did you tell me that? Now I'll... <laughs> now it's ruined. No. Dude, what the fuck? Man, yeah, this is a bummer. I was like really hoping I can get this to work. Sigma infected your device. Uh-oh, that's what you get for beating him, because... Oh, oh, okay. I So this is an X2 plot point, but Sigma actually is a virus. Like, that's why he keeps coming back over and over. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Like the 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 final boss of uh, X two is when you beat his regular body, he transforms into like a polygonal uh, virus. Like the he like there's literal polygons on the screen because they're using like a an advanced chip similar to the Super FX chip called the CX four, and yeah. you fight the Sigma virus itself and you have to destroy it. And they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't cure the Sigma virus until the Zero series. I don't know what the deal is. It's bugging me though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you if you care about this, the switch just got an update fourteen point one point zero. Yeah, I, I noticed. That it I, I noticed around. that earlier. Yeah, it switches around the icons. Now it's uh, Splatoon two instead of Mario Odyssey. Oh, great! It's pretty good. Punch your computer, Caitlin, that'll fix it. I love how one of the... Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah, Sigma and Ultron team up with their viruses to infect the entire world. It's very clever. And then the way that it gets destroyed... Well, I don't want to spoil it, I guess, for people who haven't played the game, but the way it gets destroyed is very clever. Because it, it's sort of a perfect pairing, really. Because Ultron and I'm and I will I will default to you for Ultron, Jess. Because I know.